All right, hello everyone. It is time. The priest of La Mancha Land, Gregor. We will get the other road. We will get the Rodion ID later. We will get the Gregor for now. But I already have some anticipation for this guy. I'm expecting rupture count positivity because the priest that we fought in the story he has plus rupture count in his kit. So that means that this Gregor here hundred percent has plus rupture count on him for sure. The rupture count guy has arrived. But uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see how he actually works. Because it's a bit of a, of a mixture, I think. It's, he does a little bit of bleed, he does a little bit of rupture. And then his ability, his glove ability, is that he will get some additional rupture count. So that's what I'm expecting to see on this Gregor when he comes out. Let's just go to the trailer and actually see what's happening here. Limbus Company. This R is crazy, by the way. Look at that. Ferocious, hungry Gregor. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, look at this. Oh, he's flagellating himself, that's crazy. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three, four. It could be four, it could be three. Enhanced mode. One, two, three, four. I give up. Could be any number. I'm guessing four. <laughs> wow, that was the that was the crazy uh, ASMR at the back there where he's just sucking the blood. So that's pretty cool. Uh I really know what to expect from this Gregor here. Uh but it does look like he will be bleak count applying with how much blood he's spraying everywhere. But from what I remember from the priest, he's doing a lot of rupture count application. So, I don't know, like... It'd be cool if he's... Oh, actually, I just realized, he's bleeding himself with the flagellate thing. Which means that he will also bleed himself, just like Otis. And all of these characters bleeding will eventually buff someone else in the future and so on and so forth. Because these are the lower kindreds, right? So, all of that flagellating of himself is going to give all that blood to a future ID. And then with that Hans form, he really manifests his like blood fiend power or some shit. How many hits is that, dude? It's crazy. I mean, it's a whip, right? The whip, like the theme of this season is that whips will do rupture shenanigans, like lasso, like the lasso boss also that we fought in the dungeon. Like all of these things do rupture count application. So I almost certain this character here will definitely do rupture count application with some of the skills. I just have no clue how they will actually make it scale. Will it be like based on bleed on target, do this amount of rupture? Will it be based on blood fee stacks on self or drank? Then you will apply this amount of rupture. If you drink until like maybe 30 stacks, you get plus two rupture count application, just raw. I don't know what they are planning here, but there's a lot of stuff they could do to make the blood, uh, the bleed rupture team com work here. But yeah, this is very, very sick animation and the slurping noises here at the back here is a bit insane. This voice actor is going the extra distance here. This art is also kind of ridiculous, dude. Holy shit, man. That's really bloody, dude. It's really, really bloody. I love it. All right. Ah, okay, I don't think I have anything else to say for this one. I'm already uh, expecting this one going to be a very important character for either Rupture or for Bleed. But I'm guessing it's going to be the core for the for the bleed plus rupture combo or maybe it's Rodion that's going to be the core for bleed plus rupture combo because i swear that that's going to be a thing with this barbed whip that they're going to use here with gregor okay if you have your own theories feel free to just leave them down below but otherwise um, i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye